Hi, my name is Pastor Jerry Ingalls from First Baptist Church in Newcastle, Indiana, and we are on a journey of studying the Bible one chapter at a time. I'm writing a short devotional thought on each chapter of the Bible, then I'm sharing that with you. Today we're looking at Exodus chapter 25. Giving has always been an affair of the heart. Whether it's our time, our talents, or our tangible resources, our giving is a product of God's work in our hearts. In Exodus 25, the Lord started to show Moses the patterns of all that Moses was commanded to lead the Israelites to build, the tabernacle and all its furniture. Specifically described in this chapter are the Ark of the Covenant, the table of showbread, and the golden lampstand. Just these three items alone would take extraordinary amounts of resources to construct, just like with the bread and water to nourish the Israelites, would God cause necessary resources to appear like dew on the desert floor or flow from the desert rocks? No, this time God would make his miracle happen through the hearts of his people. God's instruction to Moses in Exodus chapter 25 verse 2 was, Tell the sons of Israel to raise a contribution for me. From every man whose heart moves him, you shall raise my contribution. This time, God does not provide by causing the water to burst forth from a hard rock. Rather, God provides by moving upon the hearts of his people. Generous givers are people whose hearts have been softened, have been moved, have been transformed by the Lord to provide for his work, to build on earth as it is in heaven, according to the pattern of all that God has revealed to us. How has God worked on your heart? Paul commands in 2 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 7, Each one must do just as he has purposed in his heart, not grudgingly or under compulsion, for God loves a cheerful giver. Seize the moment and ask God to purpose your heart to be the way he provides for his will to be done on earth as it is in heaven. Giving is an affair of the heart, and it's all for God's glory. Seize the moment.